Okay, I'm going to quickly walk through this um, demonstration, take a few minutes to show you how easy it is to set up uh, simple CRUD operations using Fusebox 5, Cold Spring, the Illudium PU36 code generator built by Brian Rinaldi, and using the XSL templates that I've recently uh, released on my site for the Fusebox 5. Uh, it's, I'm going to walk through this as quickly as possible, try to keep the video as short as possible. Um, for links to download any of the code or for the XSL templates, you can visit my site at www.angry-fly.com. Okay, let's get going. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off using the uh, set of Hello World. We're going to build this, build this out a simple little blog table here. We've got a post ID, a title, and a body. And title is required and body is not. It allows nulls. Okay, so first thing we want to do to get started with our Fusebox application is we have a skeleton application here. It is downloadable from the Fusebox framework.org site as a kind of a quick start to get you going. We're going to take this build file and run it in ant. And it's our console here. Okay, that's successful. We've got, we had an empty project started here. I'll copy this code into. I'm going to refresh this. And now we have our basic application here. Okay, we're going to start off by going into our fusebox. XML. I like to set mine to full load when I'm developing. And that password. And fuse action parameter. After eight years of typing fuse action, I refuse to do it anymore. I like do a little shorter. Okay, now we're going to set up the uh, cold spring uh, uh, bean factory. So first thing we're going to do is create a new folder. Oop. Wrong one. And new folder. I'm going to call it config. Okay. In the app init global fuse action, we're in the skeleton application. We're already running a fuse action of initialize. So what I'm going to do is go into the model circuit, open up that, find the fuse action here, and I'll keep a snippet for my cold spring initialization. And I'm just going to paste him in there. Okay, basically all we're doing here is we're setting a structure with a key of DSN, passing up the DSN for that little fuse block, fuse block table that I showed you. And then we're using the lexicon, passing in the, the initialized lexicon and passing in the default property structure and calling our config file. Okay. Now to make sure that we can use those lexicons, we need to set up a namespace. Okay. And it takes care of that. Okay. Now, we're ready to generate some code. So we'll go over here to Ludium, select our fuse blog table, table post, the Fusebox 5 templates that are available for download on my site. And I'll we'll start this off. Okay, I'm generated our bean object. DAO, gateway, a service object, a list page, a form page, a controller, circuit.xml file, a view, circuit.xml file, and a cold spring config. Okay, the you know, path here is our root, fuse block, fuse block, model, post, and then the names of the files. So I'm going to walk through here and go ahead and save each one of these guys out. Clips and refresh our model folder. And so we have a post folder, and here's our generated code. So our controller, I'm going to add a new folder, post, views folder, I'm going to add a new folder called post, 
things can be in any location you want as long as you specify the path and that matches what's in the model. Now since we've added these circuits and circuit mappings to our fuse box dot XML file and add V post. Set up our two mappings to our circuits there. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and take our cold spring file, pass it into the config, move it to the config folder, and we're going to rename him. And since you can't explicitly name a file in the code generator yet, which I know Brian has been looking into, we just have to rename him. Controller in here. Now a view, two view files. Do that in just a minute. So we've got our default layout template that's in here as part of the scale and application. We're going to use that guy. Cold spring file, as you can see, is a standard cold spring file. And you know, you only generate this once, but if I was generating for multiple tables, I would just be copying the B definition pasting into this file. So now we have these are our CFC files. And we should be able to skeleton application. This is the default skeleton application uh, front page that comes with uh, Fusebox 5.1. So we're going to pass our list post. And here's our list. As you can see, I have a remaining edit entry in here from testing. This is a basic, this is our list page. You can add a new post. Basically, just building in a list. Again, these, um, as Brian Ronaldi has stated about his generator, it is not designed to generate completed applications. It's designed to give you a head start of your code, which it does uh, basically by kill, uh, building out the CRUD uh, features. And you can modify these templates to, um, to suit your projects, look and feel any way that you'd like. Simple CRUD operation is using uh, the Ludium P36 generator, uh, the XSL templates that I developed for Fusebox 5, and Fusebox 5 and CodeSpring.